Everything normal here? I am a stick bug, Whiskers, not a drumstick! Oh, sorry, 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 Margo! But there is just no stopping my happy time bopping! Happy time? Yeah, it's every day between 1.44 and 2.21 and all clear! Oh. Brandy says I can't do it in the house anymore. Any chance you could not do it on this planet anymore? Not really. <laughs> I mean, if I can't get out of the silly jungle, the chances of me achieving orbital escape velocity are slim to... Whiskers! Go annoy someone else! Annoy? Annoy? Marco, I'm starting to get the distinct impression that you don't like me. What? You? Dirty pants for breath? Oh no, I find you very attractive. You do? Sure. Your total dorkiness is irresistible. Really? Well, I never really thought of you in that way before, Marco. I mean, a city bunny like me and a jungle stick bug like you, I... Could we really find true love and possibly fight crime together? <laughs> you and me? Ah, forget it! We are over before we even started. It's over? You're dumping me? But, but, what about all the good times we had together? <laughs> Funny, I never liked Margot. <laughs> Yet, now that she's done me, I can hardly stand the thought of life without her. And that is why I must win her back. That's right, I want your advice. Uh, but not for me, I mean, I want your advice, but it, 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 it's for a friend, see? <gasps> Genius whiskers, show you, you. Oh, yeah? What's your friend's name? Uh, Frenzo. Frenzo McHugsalot. <laughs> McHugsalot? It's a common name. You run into it all the time. Like when? Like our 22nd president, Grover McHugsalot. He's on the 40 gazillion dollar bill. I do declare, hugs for everybody. Well, he, uh, this guy, Frenzo McHugsalot, he needs to win the heart of a certain special girl. Girl? That's right. A girl that I, uh, <clears throat> I mean, the girl that he, he never thought of as a romantic interest before. Oh, no. He's talking about me, is he? A girl more beautiful than a supermodel made out of roses. <gasps> He's talking about me! <laughs> and, um, what makes you think this girl wants to be your, I mean, your friend's romantic interest? Well, nothing yet. I mean, that's why he needs to know how to win her over. I mean, if you were the girl. Ew, ew, ew. Well, how can I win your heart? If I were my friend trying to win the heart of a girl who was not you. Yeah, 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 well, you know, that's kind of tricky. I know, but my friend just cannot live without this girl. His desperate passion grows stronger with his every breath. Tell me, Brandy! How can he end the torture of love's treacherous grasp? Well, look at the time! I've got to wash my cuticles. Bye! But, Brandy, what should I do? Stop talking to her right now, forever! She'd simply adore that! In order to win Marco's heart, I must play it cool and be aloof. Cool. Aloof. Not working. Say, Mr. Whiskers, what is the 411 with the cool and aloof affectation? 411, Ed? I'm trying my own cool affectation. You know, keeping it real, G, for my peeps that roll in the Azon. What, what, what? That is it. Okie dokie go. And Margo doesn't even notice me. Why do you even care what Margo thinks? I don't, or I didn't, but now I do. Oh, Ed, it's complicated. Anyway, tiny little stick heart is impenetrable to my aloof charms. Oh, gee then, Mr. Whiskers, don't be so hard on yourself. Yeah? Sure. The lagoon's full of handsome, manly folk. Margot was probably too dazzled by one of them to even notice you. Maybe you're right. Maybe she was checking somebody else out instead of me. See? There you go. Only one problem, Ed. You're the only other person here. <laughs> what? Hey, the don't, don't be ridiculous. He's on to me. Which is weird, because up to this very moment, I didn't even like Margot. 
But who am I to deny the destiny of love? After all, Margot and I have had some good times together. I must return her adoration in kind. But how? Uh, Ham, might I have a moment of your time, Miss Brandy? Uh, I have a romantical matter of an urgent nature I would like to get your views upon. Romantical? Oh no, Whiskers was telling the truth. He doesn't have a crush on me. Ed does. Ew, 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 ew! You see, Miss Brandy, I am but a honeybee drawn to the sweet, sweet pollen of my beloved. Honeybee? Yepper, which is why I stand before you today with heart in hand. Candy heart. You know, this really isn't a good time. But wait! I need your counsel on how to win my beloved's heart! <sighs> look, Ed, you're a nice guy, but look at you. Beautiful, smart, great sense of style. No wonder he's so crushing on you. Okay, let the poor sap down easy. Ed, your beloved's heart already belongs to another. Who? Oh. Just some guy. What guy? Um, Guy McHugs-a-Lot. Guy McHugs-a-Lot? <laughs> Sounds like a phony baloney name if ever there was one. You're right, Ed. It's Mr. Whiskers. Mr. Whiskers? Hey, Ed. Uh-oh. Everyone's staring at me. What's that about? Hmm. Sure is a go in here. It go, it go, it go. Well, as much fun as this has all been, I'm sure you boys have plenty to talk about, so... <laughs> Brandy says you've been coveting my girl. Candy, flowers, bow tie. Well, if anyone's doing any lady stealing around here, it's you. Sir, I challenge you to a duel. The winner shall hold the deed to our beloved's heart. A great. Choose your weapon. Swords. Two pointy. Slingshots. Seven could lose an eye. Rubber bands. Mm, I don't know. Those can really sting. Sabers. No. Chariots. No. Submarines. No. Cheese dip. No. You have left me no choice. You handle a mean fin. I've schooled with the best fish. You shall taste my scales yet. Not before you fall, hook, line, and thinker! Shut up! Girl stealer! You cannot stand in the way of our two loves! Boys, boys, boys! Stop the madness! I'm not interested in either of you! Dad! We know that you wish you could win this prize. So, why are you fighting over me? <laughs> <laughs> what? What's so funny? Why not fighting over you? Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Wait, what do you mean? Why is that funny? What's wrong with me? Well, uh, nothing per se. Well, as long as you're like a bossy and whiny and vain, conceited, shrill, arrogant, belligerent. Get your fish on! No. Oh. Hey, whoa! There's nothing wrong with you, Miss Brandy. Yeah, you're just no Margo. Margo? You guys are fighting over Margo? Well, yeah. She is my delicate orchid of love. Wait, she's my sweet petunia of amour. What is going on out here? Oh, I don't have my morning face on. Yee, now that's an eye-opener. <sighs> I guess that's over. Frankly, I'm relieved. Just between you and me, I don't care much for Margot in a romantical way. Huh, same here, buddy. Same here. Bury the hatchet. Consider it six feet under, and let us never be this stupid again. Right. So, uh, you wanna go eat stuff we fight on the ground? Oh boy, do I. Wait a minute. What do you mean you don't want me? I'm the complete package. Looks, brains, spirit. Boy, we sure had some fun today, huh, Brandy? Yes, but there are a few things I'd like to clear up before we say goodbye. Like, the 22nd president of the United States was actually Grover Cleveland. Not Grover because a lot. And there's no such thing as a 40 gazillion dollar bill. Right. Anything else to add, Whiskers? Um, dogs and rabbits really can't talk? Ah, 
I cannot work like this! 